I'm dying. So I just left work and I'm meeting Travis at Target and so I was like, you know what, I'm going to call Tuesday morning and see if they got, if all that craft stuff was actually out. So when I went the other night, there's lots of cop cars over there. So I, um, so I called and was like, you know, Hey, just wondering if you got all your craft stuff out. And he's like, well, like, he's like, is there something you're looking for? I go, no, I just, you know, love your craft stuff. And he goes, is this Monica? The manager said, is this Monica? And he started laughing so hard. I was like, yes. I freaking love my Tuesday morning people. They're amazing. Okay. Hi guys. Ooh, my hair is a hot mess and I tried to, is that Travis again? Covering up. Did he really do that that fast? Okay. It was him. We're both tired. There's Elliot. So I just came on real quick to show you guys what I um, got. And this is Annie's army. That's for my aunt. She passed away of um, kidney cancer. Elliot! Mm. So these are cards that are still the stamp is drying because for some reason on certain on the green and red cards the stamp takes forever to dry on other cards it dries right away so I don't understand excuse me speaking of cards do you want to say hi no. you're making the camera shake a lot stop babe it makes people dizzy so um last night I was playing around and bussy um, with making some cards and so I'm actually gonna end up giving them to my mom the remote's over here and I just want to show you guys because I think they're super cute so it actually says may your days be merry it's it, it's the season to sparkle, believe in the magic of Christmas, blah, blah, blah. So I did some in gold. And then there's the blue. And so the red and the green are still drying. So I'll just show you what the fronts look like. There. So I had some with different, like that has jingle bells and this one has jingle bells. So all of them have different, like here's the green. And then, so the gold does have like other backgrounds. Um, maybe. See what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to give to my mama. If you are interested in those, I can make them. But we'll get those up there. I need to catch up on some videos. We've been busy. Um, the house is a disaster. They're, the whole wall across from me in the corner is full of boxes. So we finally started knocking them out. But my craft stuff, I've been touched. It's everywhere. So I did run. So my mom asked me to make a banner like I did for my sister um, for a shower she's throwing at work for a friend. And the baby's room is grays and whites. I mean, which is pretty. But it's like hard to work with. So I ended up doing it. And I made little tassels to go in between. And of course, I didn't post any or take any pictures other than like close up to send to my mom. So maybe I'll add those at the end or right here. So there's that. But I use scrap 
material I had already. And then I was like, I just didn't think it was enough. So I was trying, I went to Tuesday morning. Like at the beginning, that's what I, that's what I got in this haul. Um, and I came across this little stack. I think it was $3.99. It was one of the cheaper ones because, you know, they go from $3.99 all the way up to $10 bucks for these little things. Um, but it had shades of gray in it. I didn't use this one. She hates pink. So this is pink and blue, which I love. So I thought I will definitely use that. That's the other thing. I wasn't going to buy it just for one banner. Like, I had to think about me using it more than once. And then this is Paris. And I know there's tons of people that love the Paris theme. Um, but I did end up using these two. Because I needed some lighter. I had some dark gray in it. And then this kind of added some. So I was trying to do a mix of stuff. Travis, he put his headphones on. Because I, I muted the TV. So I could talk to you guys. Um, so yeah, so I grabbed those. And my mom really liked it, so hopefully this girl really likes it. I mean, worst case scenario, she just doesn't hang it up in her baby's room. So, then I came across these, which I was actually pretty excited because I have been watching some December Daily videos, people from currently that are like prepping for it, and then um, some ones from last year, because I love December Dailies. Now... I was new to it last year. We were in the middle of a move, like I am now, but we'll be moved before December, you know, this year. Um, I just, I didn't have like a real focus, and I still don't. I, cause I like everything. I, I like a rustic Christmas. I like pinks and blues. I like green and red, I, 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 everything. So it's hard for me to just say, well, I'm going with this theme. I wish I had it in me to do that. Now, what I will say is I'm going to be a little bit cleaner about it this year. I'm not going to do it so junk journal-y this year. Because, I mean, I have plenty of stuff I do junk journal-y. And um, maybe try to keep it a little bit more clean album. You know what I mean? So, um, my point of telling you all of that was I found these. And they're DCWV. They are Insta Photo Fun. And this has 10 sheets. They're page protectors for a 4x4. Four and it's only 99 cents. And so this could be added in it. And again, I already have a binder, which I'll go maybe do a December daily like kit, show you what I've got going on. But um, if I don't use these for that or all of them for that, I will add them into journals and stuff like that. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff for junk journals. I'm so excited. Even though none of mine that I posted have sold. So buy them, please. And then I got this one I thought would be fun. These are um, two by twos. So there's four two by twos in one sheet. I thought those would be cute. So yeah. So for 20 sheets of fun little inserts or whatever, you know, for $1.99 or $1.98, you can't beat that. Am I right? So the other thing, I go to Tuesday morning all the time and I, babe, I don't have the volume on on this. No. Are you trying to listen to me? Um, so they have two of these boxes at my Tuesday morning. This one and another. That was in my craft room. That was my cat knocked over. Travis, is there a cat up there? Oh. All my stuff just fell. I hear it. I don't see a cat. It's going to make me crazy. Anyway, there's this one and another one, and I always see them, and I want to grab them, but I'm kind of cheap, and these are $9.99, which you know they're regularly $29.99, so that's a huge steal. You know how expensive these suckers are. And you get 616 cards. That's crazy. So, which actually, you know what? I'm going to have to do the math on that and figure out how much it is per card just to get an idea. Um, so there was two. 
The other one was a little bit more primary colors, which I liked, so I kind of battled back and forth. I ended up with this one. And let me just show you. I already, it usually has like plastic over the whole thing. I went ahead and took that off. Um, might as well just drop it all. So there's a holders. You get, I'll just, I'm not going to open them because we'll be here for days. 616 cards. These are, um, what is this, 4 by 6 Look how many. That's huge. And then there is just a ridiculous amount of these. So just to give you an idea of some of the colors, they're very, I mean, there's a huge variety in here. My shoulder is cute. I love that one. Nessa's loved. I'm hurting right here from punching these out last night. Oh my gosh. I like, it hurt really bad. Travis's dad stayed with us last night because he had, um, is it okay if I tell them his procedure? So he sat here and helped me, or, well, watched me, and, and I don't know. That's cute. Why don't you put your headphones all the way on, because I don't like you listening to me. <laughs> don't laugh. I'm mad now. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm mad at you. <laughs> yes, I am. Put your headphones on. <laughs> Let's go me and be mad, then. track of thought we went to Target again um, and the only reason we went was because they were having the deal um, you spend by like this amount of this stuff you get this gift card and this amount whatever so they had this thing for um, $75 and babies like toiletries and stuff and you all know I just had two nieces and a nephew so we went ahead and decided to make little packages for each one so we bought a whole bundle of stuff, like the essential things you need. So it was exciting. So we put that, that's gonna be all together. And so we were able to get like a $20 gift card for that. And then um, we did like cat food and stuff. You got a gift card. There were some, oh, shampoos and deodorants. So I mean, this is all stuff we use and need. So then we got the gift cards and then Travis ended up getting some um, video games for gifts and whatever. For Christmas so it all worked out um, but of course I have to look at the dollar spot and I came across these which I didn't see the first time I went but they're just countdown stickers and I just I really like the colors sorry for the glare I thought they were really cute they look like um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, not chipboard, but you know what I mean? Yeah, super cute. That I'm gonna, I plan to use for my date, December daily. And then there were these. These are $3, and I am in love with these. They're just wood shapes. Look how cute they are. If there were more, I would have bought more. I would have bought at least one more pack. How many come in here? Because there's only 15, and I plan on, I want to make a set of cards with these, and then I plan on using some in my own December daily. Um, yeah. Look how stinking cute they are. They got like a plaid pattern, a red and white stripe, and then I think all the greens are just, um, yeah. That's it. There's three patterns. 
very, very cute. For three bucks, and I mean, I think they got a good look going on. Simple, yet very, very cute. And, okay. So this is where I have a problem. We ran to the library for to see if they had, well, Trust had to return some stuff, and then we went to see if they had the movie John Q. Um, I love Denzel Washington. I love him. And so they didn't. But there was big science said book sale. So I was super excited. Well, when you walk in, the first section says of the library says free. Take them, they're free. And I'm like, You're lucky I didn't bring home that big box. He's making fun of me because I talk like that. Anyway, they had a ton of um, Better Home and Gardens books, recipe books, tons. And so I ended up, oh, somebody left paper in there. I ended up grabbing, this one's from 1963, but I just love the, the look of the pictures. So I grabbed that one, which was free. Um, this, let's see how old this one was. Oh, same thing. And this might have been like a set, probably. They had a bunch of other ones and I was like, I had them all and I'm like, okay, Monica, you're a little ridiculous. Stop, stop. This one, 1967. And this one's a little bit bigger. This bigger. This is the holiday cookbook, and this one is 59, 1959. And this one is the dessert cookbook, 1960. So I thought they were just cool. I love the old look of the pictures and just super cute. So I did get those for free. And then Travis ended up grabbing a couple movies that were there for sale. I think they were like a buck, weren't they? Two bucks, I think. Two bucks. So, this is where I get excited. I came across a handbook of arts and crafts. The reason I'm so excited about it is, I love how old it is, and it's from 1961. That's it. And I just like the old pictures in it. There is this book there and I didn't get it because I was kind of scared. Um, it was called the the Lonely Doll or something like that. And it was like a it was like a baby doll and it just shows like these pictures of so creepy. And it just appeared. It, I was like going through books and it was sitting there. I'm like, I just went through that box. Why is it sitting on top? I didn't put it there and nobody else is around me. So I was like, I am not taking this home. Golden Books, you know, I always jump on these. This is The Lion King, which is one of my son's most favorite movies. Um, and actually is Travis's favorite, I think, Disney movie. Uh, when was this? I don't know but this isn't like vintage or anything but it's a golden book and I love yeah okay so this was an exciting find I think I told you guys before my son's movie he watched all the time when he was little was the fox and the hound and that's when he actually cussed at me for the first time instead of saying fox he said a different word Two and a half years old, three years old. He dropped the F-bomb. I don't know where he got it from. So, I found this, and it's like a comic book of the Fox and the Hound. So, I got super excited. I mean, it's just 1981, but this was my son's movie. So, I think when I make another album or scrapbook page or something for him, this will be awesome. I mean, I can use it in other things, too. And then I thought this was exciting. Bedtime storybook. This is Sesame Street. I This takes me back. 
Um, this is the 70s. I was not born in the 70s. I was born in 1980. But, and then look how stinking cool this is. And it's funny because the lady was like, she stopped while I, she was checking me out. And she's like, um, she goes, oh no, you got it. I'm like, yeah. She's like, my sister-in-law wanted this. So it's Little Golden Book Classics, Three Best Love Tales. And so it's got, let's see which ones it has in here. Mr. Dog, The Colored Kittens, and The Seven, seven Little Postmen. And Mr. Dog was 1952, Kittens was 1949, and Postman was 1952. Isn't that cool? Look how big it is. This is, let me show you what a typical golden buck size is. I thought it was really cool. I was so excited when I found it. I'm like, is this serious? I mean, look, it's got a bear smoking. Do you think they would ever show that these days? I don't think so. Did you realize that, babe? What? It's got a bear smoking a pipe on a little golden buck. Speaking of. Really I know. The good old days. I'd be smoking right now if it was the good old days. I want a cigarette so bad. I haven't touched a cigarette in. How long? Over a year, year and a half. I want it. Um, this is Treasured Tales of Christmas. I thought this was cool. If I make some um, Christmas journals. The pictures are what uh, sold me and I like the little, okay, let me just show you. The little stories, like I love that. Could be an entire page, like it's so pretty and sweet. Look at that. So I grabbed that. And then something just, this immediately, the title jumped out at me, the fact that it looked old too, but this book is called My Mother is the Most Beautiful Woman in the World. And I love it because guess what? My mom is the most beautiful mother in the world. She's the most beautiful woman. She is. Did you call me dumb? No. Oh, video games. So some of the pictures I thought were cool. Let me show you. Yeah, but anyway, this one is, whoo, it smells old, 1945. So that's pretty, oh shoot, and the other side is I Saw the Sea Come In. Wait, so this is two stories in one. Oh wow, I didn't even realize that. There's one side, there's the other. Look at that, didn't even know. Okay, this is another exciting find I came across. It's Walt Disney's Bambi. Look how tore up it is. But I do not care. I It's got holes in it, scratches, drawing, writing on it. Um, it seems to be like all the pictures are here. This is from 1941. Right? Or it could have been made after, but it was copyrighted in 1941. Love. Are you laughing at me? He's laughing at me. So then the first book I came across was this one. See how big it is? It's called Champagne. So for starters, I loved the red and gold, loved it. That stood out at me. So then I was like, what the heck is it? But look at the first page or the book. This is like the binding. Is that gorgeous? Um, it's like a bunch of art. I know it's hard to see. I'm sorry. Let me just... See that? Babe, your nose is whistling loud. So I was very excited about this. It's more of like a coffee table book, but I will be probably taking it apart and use it and then journals. 
I just think it's so pretty. Travis. Can you hear it? His nose whistles so loud. But I think that's all that I got. Um, yeah. That's it. I was super excited about the books. I thought they were super cool. Super, super, super. And really happy about that. So I think I'm going to sit here and kind of go through the journal cards real quick. I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> like I stayed up late for me last night and did journal or journal cards and did made those cards, those bases. And what else did I do? Um... And then today packing, I'm my, like my body is just like screw you. So I am going to just relax and I hope you guys are doing good. Um, that's all I got. Take care. Thank you for all the support you guys. Um, if you're interested in my journals or my cards, you can look below. If you have a request that um, of a certain type of card, I am going to start working on, a, I think, a little bit of patriotic Christmas cards. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's it. So, have a great weekend, guys. Oh, I can't reach it. <laughs>